Once upon a time in Monster Town, on the top of a mountain that was bumpy and round, there was a three-legged monster named Mr. Boo Boo with a fat green body and green eyes too. They called him Boo Boo, by the way, because he made mistakes and boo boos every day. But he was kind and he was true and his wife was a Boo Boo monster too. Well, the Boo Boo Monster had a thought one day. I think I'll start a restaurant and right away. So he made a big sign that said, Good food here. And he put it on his house where you could see it clear. Well, along came a Jiggle Monster, hungry as could be, with his wife, Mrs. Jiggle, and their children, three. Look, said the Jiggle Monster, good food here. Let's jiggle inside. Dinner time is near. Come in, come in, said old Boo Boo. My restaurant is open and I'm waiting for you. So they jiggled in the door and they jiggled to a seat and they picked up a menu to see what to eat. But Boo Boo's menu was full of mistakes. It said light bulb stew with French fried snakes, potatoes and toothpaste covered with dirt with gasoline ice cream for dessert. Hooray, said the jigglers, as loud as they could. We'll order it all, because it looked so good. It was all a mistake, and Mrs. Boo Boo had a fit. But she soon made the dinner, and the jigglers loved it. So the jiggle monsters told all the monsters in town about the wonderful restaurant they had found. And everybody came to try the light bulb stew, and Boo Boo was famous in a week or two. Of course, he made Boo Boos and many mistakes, like breaking all the dishes and sitting on the cakes. But the restaurant was loved by the monsters all, and flowers were hung on every wall. Now one day the governor of Monster Town came along for lunch and to look around. And when he saw the flowers on the restaurant wall, he got an idea and he said to all, all you monsters from Monster Town, look at these flowers that grew from the ground. The colors are bright and beautiful too. Now listen to what I'm gonna do. People are afraid of monsters, right? Well, I'm gonna prove we're a beautiful sight. We're every color like the flowers are. Beautiful to see from near or far. So tomorrow we'll have a beauty contest hour and we'll match a monster to every flower. So look at your skin and follow that scheme and you can be chosen for the beauty team. I can win, said a red monster, looking at a rose. Okay, said the governor, but wear your good clothes. I can win, said a yellow-headed monster named Bill. Okay, said he, you're like the daffodil. We'll match a monster with every flower tomorrow when we have our beauty contest hour. So Boo Boo looked at his skin and saw it was green, and there was no green flower that could be seen. So he scratched his head and said, rubbing his chin, I can win that contest if I change my skin. So he looked at the wall for a hidden flower that no one else would notice in the contest hour. And he saw an orange flower, very small and thin. So he sat and ate oranges so they'd change his skin. But it was another boo-boo and it didn't change a pore. His skin was even greener than it was before. Then he saw a blue flower very high on the shelf, so he tried to turn blue by freezing himself. He opened up the freezer and he jumped inside, but it was another boo-boo and he almost died. So he started to cry because he wanted to win, 
but he couldn't find a way to change his skin. He knew there were lots of flowers on the wall, but he was green and couldn't match them at all. So he went for a walk in the country air, and suddenly he saw some pretty horses there. They were all different colors, and they all stood tall, but the blacks were the prettiest horses of all. They flashed in the sun with a velvet hue, like the midnight sky when the moon is new. Wow, said the boo monster, standing up tall. I wonder if a black flower's hanging on the wall. So he raced back home, and he opened the door, and he looked, and he looked, till his eyes were sore, and there by the door, and hidden by a screen, was a lovely black orchid that no one had seen. I must turn black, said Boo Boo with a gleam. If I'm black, maybe I can join the beauty team. So he lay in the hot, bright sun by a lake, and he cooked himself like a T-bone steak. Then he ran to the mirror and he looked at his face and the green was gone. There was tan in its place and his stomach and his arms and his legs and his skin all looked as dark as the orchid had been. Oh, what a boo-boo, said his wife to his face. Are you going like that to the governor's place? This is your silliest boo-boo so far. You can't be the black winner. Be what you are. Bye-bye, baby, said the boo-boo with a gleam. You will love me when you see me on the beauty team. So he walked up the hill to the governor's house, and he stood in line as quiet as a mouse. And the governor chose 12 winners in all, one for each flower that was hanging on the wall, red, yellow, blue, and all the colors in the scene, but Boo-Boo lost because his back was still green. He came home crying and he said to his wife, I made another Boo-Boo, the worst in my life. If I had turned black, I'm sure I would have won, but I forgot to roll over when I lay in the sun. Boo-Boo said his wife, black is beautiful, yes. Like black people, black orchids, black horses, and the rest. But green is what you are, and a proud thing to claim. Besides colors outside, inside we're all the same. Well, the beauty team winners were pretty for sure, and they went around the world to show how pretty they were. And Boo Boo got green with a coloring rinse, and he's been happier ever since. Ever since. Ever since. He's been happier ever since. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 